All right, guys, Nick the Nutter Buster coming at you on a glorious spring day here in the deep south. We got jasmine blooming, we got crappie hitting the surface of the water, and uh, today's the last day of turkey season, so we're fixing to kind of wrap up hunting season. Um, much as that sucks, we've had a good eight months of it, and I'll be honest, I'm kind of whooped. I'm ready for some lazy summer days, ready for some barbecuing, and uh, you know, taking taking the wife on a boat ride, good stuff like that. But Something else that happens in the summertime is it's time to start, you know, prepping and getting ready for next year. So, uh, you know, I joke deer season never really ends. You've just got deer killing season and getting ready to kill deer season. But it's all deer season, 365 days a year. Uh, I know a lot of you guys feel that way as well. Um, and something actually I was just doing yesterday was I rode up with my old man for the last turkey hunt of the year. We sat and we listened for a little bit. And uh, then we walked our lease. And we're looking at, you know, old stands. We've still got some ladder stands and lock-ons up there. So some of them we had to cut down. The straps were bad, and they were girdling the tree. Um, you know, we were looking. Y'all y'all know how it is. If y'all got property where you can do stuff like that, if you're not hunting exclusively public, you're, you know, looking and saying, well, we've never put a stand here. And, you know, that eight point when he came, he came from this bottom, and we need to get something to watch this. And maybe we could take this stand and... It just kind of sticks out more than you think, so maybe we could move it over here. Um, we were doing all that, so we're definitely, you know, kind of getting into full swing, prepping and getting ready for next season. Um, it can be very expensive. You know, we've bought, gosh, I don't know how many ladder stands and lock-ons and built stands and built blinds over the years. And uh, got some squirrels over there. Uh, it definitely adds up, and... You know, I was really excited with the past couple of years to discover first the easy cut and then the tree hopper drill. Because um, you can use grade 8 bolts and you can buy them for less than a dollar a piece. And you can prep stuff, especially if you're using a saddle, for very, very cheap. Um, you know, you can have 10 bucks and bolts going up the trees and you can hunt that with a saddle. Um, or you can hunt it with a lock-on. You know, if you're still using a lightweight lock-on, my dad, he's not a saddle guy, but he does have an old gorilla. Uh, stand that weighs like nine pounds and that's kind of his saddle if he wants to be somewhere be mobile um, Or if we're you know if I've got a preset that I've done for saddle hunting You know just bolts going up the tree he can wear his harness and he can climb up there and just slap that stand on it um, So definitely in full swing and prepping and just in time To get ready for prepping um, I got a got a package from good old Mark came at tree hopper um, and He sent me a toy and uh He's, he's been kind of sending me some prototypes to mess with, and uh, we've been talking about, you know, the tree hopper drill, and I finally got my hands on this bad boy. So, this is a pretty cool, pretty cool piece of kit. Um, this is the tree hopper mini. Um, and I'll show you it compared to my carbon fiber bolts. You can see that all packs up the size of a Coke can. Uh, and that's 14 bolts that'll get you 30 foot up a tree by the time you step up to your ring steps and platform or by the time you step up to your lock on if you're still doing that. Uh, but the Mini has a lot of really cool features. Um, the most obvious, is, and I know y'all are waiting for me to do this, it's got a folding handle. Folds out and then it locks. To unfold it, you just pull out and it slides down. Um, that's slick. That gets the whole profile where I can fit that in a shirt pocket, a front pants pocket. Um, that just, that goes anywhere. Um, it's three quarters of an inch shorter than the regular tree hopper. And this housing is actually specifically made um, for folks. If you've got the old easy cut drill bit, um, and this is actually what this is. This came off of my old easy cut drill. I've got several of those laying around and they've got that thin wall, you know, conduit housing that rattles. Um, you can buy just this housing, and it is made to fit the easy cut bit. Um, so if you've got a lot of those lying around, if you were like me, and you bought them up because you used the easy cut, and you thought that you always wanted to have one, wanted to have spares in case you broke a worm screw or something like this, this housing um, is going to allow you to use that old bit that you already have and put it in a much nicer, um, you know, frame. Um, you can get it with or without the folding handle. The folding handle is also going to be available um, to folks with the full-size drill, which is that three-quarters of an inch longer. Um, I want to say that the bit on it is a little bit longer as well. I don't think it drills any deeper. Um, but yeah, that's, that's awesome. Mark is also, we had a conversation the other day, he's looking at 
Uh, currently, everything comes in anodized or just, you know, naked aluminum. Um, but he says that he's working with some guys looking at trying to get some different colors and patterns um, and that anodizing, that coating. Um, so y'all keep an eye out for that. We might uh, might start seeing some, some different colors. Might start seeing, uh, I think you mentioned, like pink and camouflage and some other stuff like that. So um, I'm trying to think some, some other differences that, that you'll see coming out with the tree hopper for the minis and the full size. I don't know if it shows up really well in the light, but that handle if you can hear that it's actually knurled okay so your your sleeve on your bolt is now knurled so that gives you a little bit better purchase a little bit better grip when you're you know, drilling your tree um, and also hard to see but let me see if I can get it to focus you've got a little bit of a taper um, on the edge of that sleeve going up to your bit stop so uh, something else that he mentioned is that the little chip breaker bit stop um, that's going to come standard now on the uh, full size drills as well um, because that feature really helps we found that with the way that the sleeve was done on the tree hopper as it was originally designed you could get wood shavings since you didn't have that stopper you could get them up in that collar and it could make stuff bind up um, and it just kind of impeded. You could still drill, but it just kind of impeded the operation, made it a little bit less pleasant and smooth of an experience than it otherwise could have been. Um, so that feature, this this style sleeve and this style bit with the um, with the chip breaker, that's going to be coming standard from here on out. So um, those of you guys who haven't maybe jumped ship um, just quite yet, who are, who are still kind of on the fence looking at it, that'll that'll be out there for you if you haven't purchased a drill yet. If you have purchased a drill, um, and it's got the old style uh, sleeve, uh, talking with Mark, he said that he definitely wants everybody to have, you know, the, the best version of the drill that's there. Um, so he said reach out on the website. Um, my understanding is that he's going to be retrofitting those old drill bits. Um, I think trying to make sure I'm covering all my talking points. Uh, another thing in that sleeve and it's kind of hidden and uh i'm glad mark pointed it out to me yesterday because otherwise I, I probably wouldn't have noticed it because it's one of those things that it's it's a it's a good thing but it's a good thing because you don't notice it you know it's like your car engine not making noise um but when you spin so there's a spring in there that helps everything lock into place um well that spring is now flat ground and it mates up against a flat metal washer so the operation is a lot smoother instead of having that end of that spring digging into something that's very very smooth so that's just a nice little um you know attention to detail thing that really to me kind of sets the tree hopper hand drills way above the competition um i think everything else i think that the um i think that's about it really to be honest but i'm just i'm, I'm really blown away the mini um, oh, something I don't remember if I covered in my last video, but they're going now, uh, Tree Hopper is going with a screw instead of a pin. Um, Mark kind of agreed. We talked about it, um, and he agreed that it is a little bit easier for people to replace that bit if something were to go south, if the worm screw were to break or something like that. It's easier to replace that bit just with an Allen key as opposed to, you know, trying to trying to find a, a pin punch and punching that out and having to have a vice and all that um and again really responsive to feedback um definitely recommending if you're looking for a lightweight way up a tree um, lightweight and compact you can see you just can't beat that if it's if it's legal for you to drill if you're on public land that allows it or if you've got a lease where you can drill a tree um this is a no-brainer whether you're climbing with a saddle whether you're climbing with a lock on um, you can't beat that. All that fits in a cargo pocket. Um, I'll link to my video that shows climbing with bolts. It's not as slow as most people think because you can literally walk up to the tree with that in your pocket, that in your pocket, or in a water bottle pouch on your, you know, saddle or on your backpack, and you can pretty much instantly start climbing a tree where somebody would have set of sticks or spurs or wild edge steps or whatever. They've got to take their pack off and they've got to fumble around, get gear out, get it put together. Um, this is this is just a much simpler, cleaner, streamlined system. Uh, I was up in a tree the other day, getting it prepped. It was a maple tree, 
It had limbs every three or four feet. Um, so you were kind of using a bolt here, then you were stepping on a limb, then you were using a bolt and stepping on a limb. Um, kind of had to corkscrew around to the back of the tree um, as you were climbing. Just something that's not really possible if you're using, you know, conventional sticks or even wild edge steps and aiders. You know, that's that's the thing. You Those aiders, they, they stop working as well if you've got to start maneuvering around to the back side of a tree. Or if you've got something with a lean. I set a spruce the other day that had a pretty severe lean to it. Um, with bolts, it's not an issue. It's kind of like climbing up rungs on a ladder. Um, so keep an eye out for those. Those I don't think have hit this site quite yet, but they'll be coming. So if you've got one of the old easy cut uh, drills and you like it, you like the bit, um, you like the utility of it, but you've you know done the same thing I did. You've sat there and beat your head against a wall trying to get quiet and just putting up with the rattle and the slop in the system. This, you can see there's no... When that lock's open, there's no noise, there's no rattle, there's no slop, everything works, you know, tight and smooth. Um, this is actually a, a, a tool, you know, this is one of those things, like I, I told Mark when I got it, like I kind of want to go and take it to an engraver and get my initials put on it. Uh, this is something that's going to last forever. The only thing that can wear out is the bit, and when the bit wears out, you got easy access now where you can change that out. Um, and you can buy bits from Easy Cut and from Mark over at Tree Hopper, so... Y'all check it out if you uh getting ready, you know, summer's in full swing. If y'all are, uh, or it is down here on the Gulf Coast. I know it's not, not everywhere, but, uh, you know, season's wrapped up. I know people are starting to prep those trees. So if you're looking for a good, lightweight, easy way to prep trees and mobile hunt, uh, go check out Mark's website, Tree Hopper LLC. They also, um, they have a pretty cool climbing belt. I was looking at some of their stuff the other day. Um, they got a climbing belt. They sell the whole package. Um, you can buy this, you can buy a pouch that holds it, and then they also sell the grade 8 bolts, and I believe those are now coated, um, which is pretty cool. I was doing something similar with my grade 8 bolts last year, um, painting them with like a textured, you know, stone texture spray paint that blended in really, really well with tree bark. Um, it looks like now they've got that same coating that's going to give you a little bit of a grip and help keep them quiet. So kind of a one-stop shop. You can buy a really high-quality drill. Um, and then you can buy bolts and they're already pre-coated so you don't have to plastic dip them or wrap them or, you know, pick your poison. Um, you can buy the pouch. They also have a pretty cool holster if you're using a power drill to prep stuff in the summer. I know a lot of you guys like to do that. Um, they got a holster that will hold your drill and let it ride on your belt. It's kind of like a pistol holster. But then it's also got the elastic loops like I'm using here to hold your bolts. Um, so that's really slick, you know, you can carry your, your bolts in bulk in a backpack or something. When you get to the tree, you can slip what you need in your drill holster and climb up. Use their belt. Like I said, one-stop shop. Really cheap, really effective way to just set a lot of presets, you know, kind of John Eberhardt style. So that once season rolls around, you've already got all your work done. All you got to do is show up and hunt. So, y'all check it out. Keep it real. And I'm going to uh, get back to enjoying the weather. See y'all next week.